I told you my story is a little, uh, I probably was the most skeptical chiropractor because of my medical background. And when people say, well, antibiotics, you know, it's, it's a terrible thing. And I go, you know, my finger got kicked off and the joint was popped in Italy in the mud. We were playing in the mud in northern Italy. And I just have to tell you something, that I would be dead if it wasn't for antibiotics. And I find it obnoxious because I didn't get in because I'm going to fight some pharmaceutical nobody. They're a bunch of losers, man. Get over it. Why do you have to fight that? You know, fighting nuclear bombs, they just, the government just kept building bombs. Do you understand what I'm saying? And those people got frustrated because they're selling an illusion. See, eventually the truth will rise. Now the toughest thing is that this truth See, I was fortunate, man. I, I, my second quarter, I was a little skeptical, so I jumped in a car after my first quarter, and I headed off to California. I want, I want to see America. I bought a car for 85 bucks, okay? $85. It was called a Dodge Coronet, the great white shark. <laughs> Cruising, baby, coolie in the back, and we were gone. Because I was, I said, I'm in America. You guys take it for granted. You lost the magic. I'm an immigrant. Immigrants go to work. And we're proud to work. I had a young kid come up to me and goes, I want to retire. He's 26. Are you out of your mind? Retire and then go get a job. Holy mackerel. We were at the airport, and this Marine, 29 years old, says, I got uh, 16 years till I retire. That is an obnoxious concept, retirement. I live in Arizona because I wanted to retire just straight up, okay? So I, I went to where the retirees are. Smart move. I had an economics background before I got into chiropractic. And so the economics makes you think about things a little differently so we're going to get older so arizona has quadrupled just phoenix has quadrupled in size good move okay so just a little smart and when i arrived in america off to iowa well you could have gone to southern california i'm not you go to iowa <laughs> my kids go to iowa because they were raised in arizona and florida so it's like a tradition. You have got to go to your graduate school where you freeze your balls off. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? That's like you're you know, passing the torch. If you can get through that, then BJ says, you're my man. So I arrived here. I remember my father, I had three credits to graduate with an economics degree and I canned it. And the Italian scout, he said, Come and play for us in Italy. And I went, how much? He goes, 500 bucks. 500 bucks a month? Yes. Well, I'm going to retire. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. I went with such passion. I, everything I've done in my life has been with passion. How else would you look? If the Father has blessed you, then why don't you receive the blessing and then move? Like, move. Like, do something. See, winners do, where losers just, well, they quit. Well, they, well then they don't do. This is not complicated. There's an infinite spirit, I buy it. There's an infinite spirit. My son, who's a, who graduates in two weeks, he sent me this today. He said, in the Navajo country, Dave, remember? Hojo Nazle. Hojo Nazle means, in beauty, may you walk. In peace, in health, may you walk. Balancing mind, body, spirit. And when what you are thinking in your mind and feeling in your heart and what you are doing with your hands, is in harmony 
And in balance, mind represents the cortex, the thinking realm. Heart represents the limbic system, the feeling realm. And the brain state, the brain state held in your hand, the three in one. Then you're moving forward. When the three is one, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit are one. Dude, I'm a Catholic. Okay, so this new age stuff, you know, you, know, you go to Sedona, snort some crystals, you know, do whatever you want to do. Put some magnets here and there. You know what? It's because the young kids don't know how to adjust, I'll be honest, man. They don't know the difference in an atlas, just a left or a right atlas. Whether it's on posterior. I, mean, they don't, I studied with Grosset. On the, when he was taught, teaching at Palmer, I studied with the son. I used to buy him a beer, and he loved me for that. And I'd say, tell me the stories. I got an amazing story. Yeah. I worked for Agnes Palmer. I was her gardener for $2.58. Wow. And you know the funny thing? I'd do it again. Because I got the whole history. They are individuals, our whole history is quite simple. They are schools that were founded by men. Logan, Palmer, National, Williams, and so on and so forth. And they hated each other. <laughs> wow, I thought we were a healing profession. Oh no. Oh no, man, I'm right, you're wrong. This is the only way. Well, now you've got to fight. Because there's more than one way. And do you know why? Because it's your way. Yeah. 